welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I'm I am here and I am Bree. <laughs> <laughs> we are your hosts. I'm Bree. Um, I've got my brother Bryson. Hello. My father Gary. Hello. And my mother Shelly. Hi. We usually sit in a different row, so it always kind of throws me off. I'll get used to it <laughs> because now we've got visuals. If you're watching here on YouTube, or you know, we, we do the audio only on the audio only places like iTunes and Spotify. But uh, anyway, it's been a fabulous week. We have uh, it's Memorial Day today, which is the starting of summer, yeah. or the, the ringing in of summer, and things are just so beautiful, sprouting out. We got flowers uh, yep. going on. Yep. Yep. And uh, let's see. some flowers blooming, oh. some ready to sprout. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, beans. do flowers sprout? Oh no, they Coming bloom. Soon. They bloom. Yeah. Yes, blooming. Bees flowers. are buzzing. Yes. And barbecues yes. are smelling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Bryson harvested the rest of his lettuce. At least got it all chopped the down there. Lettuce. Yeah. This time, not throwing away the base of the lettuce. <laughs> yes, <laughs> keeping that for mm-hmm. later versions. And then you got versions. some tomatoes and peppers and things you put in the aquaponics, and they're still little bitty guys now. If that'll. Yeah. But they'll grow. Yep. Very It'll quickly. Be exciting. Mm. Harvested several strawberries from it. Oh yeah, mm. which nice. is pretty cool. Nice, nice Crash thing. is getting bigger. Crash is oh. maybe more and sideways. He's, he's a big he's boy world, now. Worldwide <laughs> than he is going tall. Yeah. I'm always I shocked. Keep, I, I, he keeps growing bigger and bigger, and I'm like, well, are you gonna stop, dude? At any point? <laughs> he's a hungry guy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was watching him too, and I was like, is he getting any food? All the goats are butting him around. You know what I mean? But then I look at him like, oh, he's getting food. <laughs> 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 he's fatter than every goat he out is there, a pretty much. <laughs> he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He is, nice and he's guy. always looking for more food. You walk out there, he's like, food. Well, that's that's goat. That's a goat, <laughs> <laughs> and pretty much any animal. It seems. <laughs> <laughs> so. They have stomachs. Yeah. They all do. Right? They have endless stomachs. Yes. So, did we want to start off with what we have uh, received in the mail last week, or do we want to hop into the podcast? Why don't you hop into the podcast for a while, and then we'll cut to more right. visuals we, we on got, that. We got a lot to say. We were like going through all the things. That we're like, oh, we wanted to say this yeah, and cover that. It it's just it was a busy week last week. It was. Uh, so, it was in the yeah, in last uh, podcast, we had talked about uh, various things, and I pulled up. Uh, nearly every comment was a wonderful recommendation. Every comment was really sweet, but there was a lot of fantastic uh, suggestions and and stuff for the different projects that we had mentioned that we were going to do. Um, <clears throat> so here, uh, Stephanie Hausler said, "For a clear window, what about pouring the epoxy into a piece of plexiglass? Uh, onto probably." Is what she said. Yep, onto a piece of plexiglass. That was a pretty good idea. I liked that yeah, one. Yeah. Right now this here. is for that little window yeah. piece that we want to mm-hmm. go above the window air conditioner. Mm-hmm. We can have a piece of wood, of in, there wood right in there. Looks awful. <laughs> totally awful. <laughs> we need to replace that. Classic exactly, kitchen. Yeah. And the, the, we need to draw a like big <laughs> smiley face on it with some eyeballs. No, and we don't. Mouth. We don't That's need a smiley face. <laughs> was, uh, and we taped. <laughs> and a mustache, oh, poor Bryson. A little beard. <laughs> I know, and it speaks too because we we put tape around there. Yes, and high the wind tech. Will hit it, yeah, and it'll go. Kind of buzz. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Or shut the door and it's. Our poor dogs are tormented from the sound of bees. Oh, they oh. are. Oh, <laughs> I think there was a butterfly that was just floating past uh, Chip, and he's like. <gasps> <laughs> like We're that you know, every poor animal PTSD. Like that. poor guys I, I know we did a little bit of the bee PTSD. work <laughs> is that what it is <laughs> I know we did a we did some bee work and they've been aggressive very aggressive yeah. lately Almost. Well, actually, right. they're not really aggressive. It's just that Chip keeps trying to eat them. Yeah. And then That's they true. just go, and he, he goes true. flying That's across true. the backyard, just squeeling like the, as that bee chases him and stings him. <laughs> oh, them. poor guy. But oh, then he yeah. instigates the fight, and the bee's like, okay, we're going to finish funny, this if you're going to start it. <laughs> <laughs> and Bree, had, you had it's quite true. the week oh, last okay. week. Okay, so I, I had I had two things that happened, but I'll just lead in because we've got bees going on here. <laughs> yeah. um, I was just minding my own business. I was business. milking goats. Yeah, my own bees. <laughs> <easy. laughs> and uh, I was milking goats, and, and I and I think I, I heard this buzzing. And I've been I've been a little gun shy from the bees because I just they've been a little aggressive, and so they've I been dashed. And, interested in people, but lately. usually they give you a little bit of heads up that they're going to come after you. They'll like bang against your head, and if you feel that, then you just run. And you're usually at least I had been good from that yeah, point on. So I was right. like, uh, I saw that bee coming. I thought, oh, Bree. 
just relax. It's just to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm remembering Bryson. He's like, they're not going to hurt you. They're fine. They're normally interested in you, but they're not going to hurt yeah, you. Yeah, they're not going to hurt you. you. Like, and I've been, I've just been like running into the house from flies, you know, so I'm saying, like, I just, <laughs> just relax. That thing. <laughs> it, at first, it just dive bombs my glasses. And I thought, what is that? Then it comes flipping around and stings me right here. <laughs> like, I didn't even have time to respond. I was just stung all of a sudden from, is that a bee? To, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy. And I left the bucket in the goat there, poor thing. And I'm like, Bryson, I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I know. And here am I giving you advice on, oh, no, they tag Relax. you way before they sting well, you. Well, and that had been true up to that point. But that bee was like, you're going down. <laughs> Chip was I, probably around the scene because he's been getting and the bees all riled up. He has been. Yeah. He has been. And the other thing is, too, maybe it did tap you, like, on your hair or something. No, you I was, believe it. me, Bryson, oh, I was okay. alert. <laughs> I was like, it's a bee, but it'll give me oh, some time boy. to respond. No, it I'm did not. <laughs> that was so I've come to learn that you cannot predict them. They're unpredictable. <laughs> I don't well, during the winter they're months, they're predictable. You don't true. even see them. So. Did but something else happen to you, too, <clears> last week, Bree? Okay, so it really was quite the week for Bree. <laughs> it was I, a uh, brie week. <laughs> it was a brie week. <laughs> I, I never had bad week. I have I don't have brie weeks. But I had uh we had gone over to Garen and Ellie's to paint their house and which that'll be coming I think soon this I think week it's or this something. Week, yeah. yeah. So we painted their house. It's beautiful. They picked great colors. But anyway They did. They're really cool. We're driving in in the morning and I had I had my phone on me and I didn't think that my, my shorts had uh, they, I found out later they did, but I didn't think they had any pockets in them. So I usually just stick my phone so I don't forget it or something. You know, I'll just stick it while we're in the car, you know, so that I feel it and I know it's there and I'll remember it when I walk out. Like under your leg? Yeah, under my leg mm -hmm. or something, you know, or on my lap. And I had, uh, anyway, and I think I had it on the, on the seat. I usually try to put it on the seat so I don't get up and it flies off places because that's not usually good for your phone's health. Anyway. <laughs> So I had I had uh, I jumped down from the truck, which is what we had brought that Let's day. To go out and get the gate. Yeah, to get the gate. And anyway, that was the last I saw of my phone, all in one piece. But uh, you guys had <laughs> driven in, and I was like, "Mom, where's my oh, phone? No. Where's my phone, Mom? I swear I had it in this car. I swear." And and your mom's like, "Oh, you just you probably just forgot it." And I thought, oh, "I wonder if it fell out of, of out of the car." And so I went over to the gate, and all of a sudden I'm seeing something shiny as I'm getting closer. And I thought, oh, no. Oh, wouldn't that be funny if it if it got run over? No, I surely not. Surely not. And I don't know if you can see, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it got ran over. It, it got. It got. Mon and she ran had a over. pop socket on the back of it. It warped the phone up where that pop socket was. Yeah, I got. um. It had a great case, but apparently it wasn't that good. <laughs> so, can't, can't withstand the three-quarter ton truck. <laughs> and it was a workhorse. I had some alarm set, and it, my phone rang the whole time. Like, it was going off and doing yeah, its business. It's still but doing you its job. Yeah, but you can't see anything. So, anyway. Or, or the screen doesn't work either. But the good news is. Yeah, the good news is. Sorry, it's taken me a long time to get to the good news. But um, I got a new phone. <laughs> and I'm pretty, pretty happy about it, pretty excited about it. It's... Uh, it's the the newest one, which I've never had, and I actually I didn't even realize it because we buy everything used, and I thought, oh, I would like a different look. I would like a different look, and I ended up getting a, an iPhone 11, which uh, I didn't know was the latest greatest until a few days after yeah, I bought it. So, but you got it with um, yeah, I got it a deal. I thought it was a deal, a deal yeah. on used. Yeah. And it yeah. was it's deal. gonna be fun right. to it try it because yeah. it's got really good image stabilization. So we'll probably you'll probably be doing a few scenes and a nice with it and stuff. Yeah. So, kind of so the next time we there. have yeah. a scene that requires stunt people, you're on it. Exactly. <laughs> okay, with I've a camera it. in your hand. Well, we and go. if we want anything to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, something to step in for as you know, with a broken iPhone, we can use your phone. Yeah. For that. Unless you want another new one. Uh, no. No okay. more new phones. Quick, chuck okay. that under the car I'm again. Good. Let's see how <laughs> it holds up. Run it over. So, anyway, that was it was both it, tragic and fantastic all in one <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty neat. It doesn't have any of the borders around it. I, I like I the case. Look how really red that awesome. is. I just... Yeah, oh yeah it's like a red phone, phone and, and cool. stuff. A red this phone. Like like I, I've never had an Apple case, but apparently it's an Apple case, too. I didn't even know they made those, so... It came with the used package, so you're not going to say no. But uh, anyway, so there you go. Can you actually make calls on it? 
Well, that's the only feature it doesn't have. <laughs> oh, God. Speak to Sirius, you'll speak back, but no phone calls. Okay, Sirius, make a phone call. I'm sorry, that is n- options right, not so available. Are you going to go back to the? You had more comments, didn't you, oh, on yes, the last, I do here. La- Let's see last here. podcast? Uh, okay, so let me. See. I'm going through the top ones here. I, I haven't had my phone, so I haven't been able to go through it. I'm not as prepared as I usually you am. You should see her oh, mope around talk for about days, Stephanie's, too. Though. Really. Stephanie's comment oh, was right. on the, the plexiglass. Do we have a wow. piece of plexiglass? That, I'm not sure if we have one laying not around. Not that big. We have normal glass. No, yeah, we have we normal glass. To. We do. We <sighs> still have some old uh, windows out there that we could mm. lay it on, maybe. If we can find one that's not tempered. Or no, no, are you I, thinking of peeling it back up? No, I'm just using it as to pour the, the epoxy on to get that. Yeah, if that we and then if we took a uh, this is this is my thought on that actually. I was thinking about using a like what you're saying, like a piece of glass like that, and then putting wax paper underneath it to separate it from the glass because yeah. I think it would adhere to the glass. If Somebody we just made a comment about wax it. paper will yeah, stick. Someone, it will on stick. The stick? That's, That's what I'm afraid told. of too. That's one of the what oh. doesn't stick? Um, uh, do they, is there one on there think, that, that tells no, us what doesn't I think stick? I was, stick? There, I there was, uh, I apologize, I'm there, having to dig just a wee a bit. Mold, mold release spray is what I read. Yeah. Yeah. Oil, mold release spray. So apparently you can buy a spray that's <laughs> called mold release. It releases things from its mold that really? you're molding it with. Yeah. Will oil It's work? probably a, a, something you can Some buy at a store that sells these types of um, acrylics. Okay, I don't, I don't see the comment here. When I find it, I'll let you know. But somebody s- said that there was a silicone spray oh. that you could do i thought i, I saw that as uh, somewhere okay, along we'll the need line to find that because uh, silicone about, spray baking grease like you know when you spray baking pans oh like a pan pam like so, uh, a, a yeah somebody I, I, somebody did a we could do some cooking too leave it out in the sun for a while do a you couple know, eggs it'd be super simple to test it just do a little a experiment little, yeah, yeah a piece we of could glass try out a there different and ones unless unless we can find something that we already know would work with which would be ideal you know you'd have to use silicone to glue down your frame to the glass spray it yeah so oh, hot might glue. be the so, so hot glue. Okay. here's one here um, by uh, Chloe. It uh, says, also for the glass above your AC, make sure to get some form of mold release. That's the one I read, yeah. Like the one that um, comes in spray cans. It makes the whole process much easier. You can use something like plywood, the stuff uh, with the white laminate on it. <gasps> you uh, that melamine. Service. Melamine, melamine, yeah. I've got a sheet of melamine. And packing tape to pour to pour it. And stay away from wax paper. The wax paper will, will probably just stick right to it and okay. leave you with a big mess. You oh, just okay. build the structure with plywood, then cover the whole insides with packing tape, and make sure that it's watertight in places that matter. After it's cured, you make you take apart the structure with a bit of sanding and polishing. You should be all set. Again, make sure to use that mold release. Mold release. Hope that okay. was so helpful, and definitely yeah. it was. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Okay, so that's okay. Uh, Dad and I are going to run and get supplies to tonight. And we'll get we'll look for mold release then. Mm-hmm. Hope we, we can have, find that. We have to order online, maybe. I don't know. We'll look at the hardware store and see. Yeah, yeah the one that I saw, and it was else you get spam. <laughs> it was it's, somebody, it's Pam, but Pam, yeah, we can look spam, at that Pam, too. Pam, we'll look, Pam, we spam. could do that too. Mm-hmm. We'll try that. Something, yeah. It's a spam. I'm telling you. It's not. We could have spam. spam. Is that? We could buy both know, and eat the spam. Have on you ever a had spam? Sprayed spam. With Pam. Yeah, oh, you know, she's had spam. Yeah. Yeah, we could do a pan sprayed with Pam and and cook ham. It's like All the right man in Spain <laughs> falls gently on the plane. Um, yeah, it was, in you know, Spain. The one Spain. thing that I saw it was a window. It was a, somebody doing a custom window, and they were doing it out of epoxy. And she had, I don't know if it was wax or parchment, but she oh. had it laid out, and then she... She did it on top of that paper, and she said it would come right up now, from the paper. Now, didn't you pour some of hmm. your flowers using wax paper? But if somebody's tried it and it doesn't work, then I mean, <gasps> oh, it and that work. did not work. Well, I can't it remember. I used, um, I actually, I, um, I didn't, I don't. You used, you didn't use resin. We used um, the lacquer stuff you put on, like wood. Uh, what is it? Uh, what's that called? We put on the middle of the tree in the Palmer? kitchen. What's that called, Mom? Oh, the marine The marine spar. spar. Yeah, we, we yeah. Put, I put that before right. on real flowers on wax paper, and it did not yeah. come off. That's right. Wax paper just sealed it on there. It was like right. you'd have to sand it. But you sh- but remember, parchment <clears throat> paper is different. So th- you 
we might be able to use what that. It'd be nice to see that too. The paper too. I'm gonna is going to have a line on it. Video, huh? it, ha- it will have a line between the two parchments because you're going to have to have it. Can two we? Pieces. We can sand mm. and polish it, right? Okay, so now here's. Yeah, we're here's, trying to avoid the polishing. But Mona Bale <laughs> said, <laughs> "Coat whatever you pour the epoxy on with some silicone spray. Clean silicone. off with isopropyl and sand regu- uh, regularities with a wet sand fine grit paper." Question mark. I've got some of that. It will work. Okay. Mm. okay. I okay. would love to not have to say anything yes. with with this stuff, I think. If we can mm. at all help it. Yes. It'd be nice yeah. to be able to do something. Okay. Yeah, just pour and uh, pour yeah. get the sheet and it, get the first layer down, get the um the hummingbird on it and and be done or mm-hmm. pour again or something. Yeah, done. and it seems to me it won't matter because it's going to be in the window frame if we have to you know, if something drips, we can we can just hit it with an angle grinder and not touch it. It won't matter because it'll mm. be on the edges. But as long as we can get that middle bit, I really am liking the idea of using the laminate wood. And then, yeah, packing t- tape is a great idea around all the edges and then just letting it set like that. Mm-hmm. And and then using the silicone spray or whatever mold release or whatever we, we put on there. I okay. really like okay. that idea the best, I think. Yeah, I mm. think that this is this will be our week for that. We'll be, be doing fun. that this week. Yeah, it's gonna be sure. a fun project. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm I'm looking forward to, to it. Are we Are we planning on doing like a layer? Oh, excuse me, a layer of <laughs> hello, <laughs> a layer of the epoxy, and then doing the design, and then another layer of epoxy. Uh, yeah, at least a layer design. Yeah, maybe a little, and then maybe another layer inch. or not. It just depends on what we need. As we go, we'll figure out what I we need. I got an idea. Yeah. What if we did a marbles, marbles and glass? You know, the glass marbles and stuff. What do we put a bunch of those in there to make like a design out of the colors? We could use the marbles in place. Like stick them in the in the goop. We could use those in in the design of the hummingbird, and I can pick those up the flat ones at the dollar store. Yeah. And diff- there's like two or three different colors I could pick up, and we could do that instead of doing the and colored you just, epoxy. You know, you well, design it. It's so it's- interesting that you say that because you had remember you had mentioned in those two door panels to put different sand because p- bits of sand well, yeah um uh winds low lamb says instead of sand in between the two panels of the window use lightweight micro beads <laughs> like oh. what you were talking about uh, the beads but i like that for the that might be kind of fun that might be kind of fun it'll be a little different we've already done the the colors be kind of bubbly and fun yeah and because it's a window it might hold its color better yeah. Then I think mm. over time we might have some with direct sunlight. We won't have direct sunlight on okay. that window, but still over I like that. Turn yellow. And then you yeah. still we still need to make some sort of outline and then put the marbles in, in, the, outline. in the outline. Yeah. Ooh, I got an idea. And still use color if you want. Oh, it's I, different colors. Yeah. I have yeah. an idea. Use the marbles for texture. What okay. if what if what we could do is you you use the laminate wood as our background. You draw what you want on the laminate wood with a pencil. Right, so you erase it and stuff. What you want, then we coat it. We lay the stuff on top, and underneath, on the laminate wood, we have the drawing of what we where the things go. Hmm. I, I, oh, I just, so that we can see where to put pattern. the marble. Oh, oh, oh right. right. Instead of drawing right. Them. I and you see. do it with pencil, so that it doesn't interfere with sticking or anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you lay the if you. Right. If you lay, yeah, okay, yeah. And then you put your yeah. your right stickiness over the top of it. Yeah. Right the spray. on that white. On the melamine. On the white melamine. Yeah. 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 That'll work. I just got an idea. Okay. What if we test out the pouring by doing little sheets like this, like this big, it's like five inches by five inches, uh, little sheets of colored epoxy. Then we take a grinder and grind out the different sections of the hummingbird, like the, the snout, the beak, and then the body, the head and the feathers or whatever. And, and we press those into the into the main mold into the main mold okay yes do them separate interesting do them separate and then that way we can test out we can test out the concept on something small and then also it will be used yeah as well yeah i like that like that okay yeah we we can do that we can do the marbles we can mix them them i just do i mean all those pieces and then put them all together for the final piece (gasps) yeah do a mixture of both yeah do you yeah, think it will actually be, cool. be heavy enough to sit inside? As long as it's a, a three, you know, five eighths maybe or half inch rather. Well, do you think it will float to the top of the epoxy? 
the epoxy the pieces. Marbles may the, not, but I don't know. The about stuff the, we place into it. The dried. We might be able to glue them down mm. to the. Um, oh, I have a thought. Glue them down to the small layer that you want to pour first. The small oh, clear layer. Or, lay uh, those mm. down. Yeah, or or put just a small layer of epoxy on that. That's a sticky enough that you can stick the pieces on. You there, don't want any bubbles though. Then you. You have oh, to work it out so you don't be, get any air well, bubbles. Well, you can you move it around. <laughs> okay, I know out. how Maybe. we can do that. Because I, when I worked with the flowers, okay. if we didn't want them to float, what you can do is you can put a very small layer on, let it give it a couple hours to kind of start sealing. And once it seals and hardens just enough, then you add more. And then that keeps it in place to not float. Right on. Okay. That's as long as we we'll get the do. air bubbles on, I think that'll work really good. Yeah. You always have to get the air bubbles out. We'll have a flat surface on. And you the want to do that pieces. rather than the 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 fake well, letting? Well, I can definitely do the that stuff. It just would be kind of fun to do, do something different. different. Yeah, okay. I think so too. I like it. I okay, agree. just mm-hmm. just wondering. Yeah, and oh, that that'll be a project. I think we'll at least be starting on this week. Hopefully, we can do yeah. the whole shebang. I don't <laughs> think it's going to be that hard to do. Yeah, I don't know. We pour the now, resin we a also, week later. We yes, also it's dry. got. Um, <laughs> We also got some really, uh, really cute things for Azalea this yes. in the last week. Yeah, um, it was, right. I believe it was Nora had yeah. sent um, a, a group of, it was like in a little, a little case that was kind of like a little house and it was all, um, wood, I guess, knitted. Mm-hmm. And, and then it had three little pigs and a wolf inside of there. It was so cute. And they yeah. were rattles. So they're soft That's rattles right. uh, mm-hmm. for Azalea. And that was um, just absolutely adorable. Thank you, Nora, too. Hey, Nora, and I, nice. I believe she said in the note that her daughter also yeah. helped. And yes. Yeah. Uh, and then we got um, another one. And we were able to get the camera out because Garen and Ellie were there. And we were able to um, uh, grab the baby and uh, Garen and Ellie and and um, we'll play that for you here. Oh, eggs! <laughs> you love eggs! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh! That is so cool. <laughs> that is so cute. Louis said that made and sent that, showed proper that pictures so and everything. It made from uh, Skeet. Cool. I think I'm going She's just, she doesn't want to play under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that is, oh, that is really so cool. amazing piece of art. That is really Thank you, Lewis. Really that is yeah, amazing. Thank you. I want to rattle with it. <laughs> <laughs> she, loved, she really was interested in that. Too. She was looking at it. So. so thank you so much, Lewis, for that fun rattle. That was amazing. Yeah. You turned that she on had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. Really cool. Uh, Lewis had actually really been neat. sending f- sending us updates of the whole project on on our Twitter, so I knew it was coming, so we were more prepared, you know, so that we, yeah. could, sh- they could, we could video it. And That's so, really cool. but uh, it, I think <clears throat> it's su- super oh, smooth. We don't have smooth. it here now. Can you say it's mesquite? Yeah, yeah, he did it out of mesquite he may have, wood. I think yeah. he, he may have even stained it, it looks too. It looks it, like uh, it just like looks really s- nice. So cool. I don't know, but it is a, it's just a really, a really cool, cool piece. piece of art, really. It's yeah. a piece That's of art. It is, yeah. Did it just a fabulous Non-toxic job, Non-toxic stuff that he put oh, on yeah. their stuff. So. Yeah, everybody, yeah, very, very cool. careful about yeah. that. So. Yeah, so those are just the coolest rattles. <laughs> We've had a rattling week. So <laughs> Yeah, and she's, sure. she still has her hands closed quite a bit, and so she's still learning kind of to open her hands and grasp things and she's kind yeah. of at that stage so she'll be doing the rattle thing a lot here in yeah. the she'll in have, the coming she'll have month, one probably. for her hands and for her feet she's gonna be <laughs> rattling one, all over the and place and one for daddy's beard <laughs> just like to grab his beard and give it a good yank so. <laughs> yeah i know when i uh and i cut my hair and uh, i was walking up the stairs and i was gonna hold the baby <gasps> and the moment she looked over at me she didn't <laughs> recognize me because i didn't have any hair she just went she just like got all upset. Oh, it's like, whoa, no, it's me. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> she had no idea who I was. She was yeah. freaking out. She did. She freaked out. And then she, and then she realized it. And then she was, yeah. she was good. Once okay. he started talking, yeah. he's, you know, then I think the, it was okay. I feel like the last few times that she's been with you, she's been studying you. She mm. goes out of her way to go, okay, familiar, but not familiar. <laughs> Can't figure out who yet. I, I'd like to talk more about this whole hair thing. We've gotten a lot of comments about, uh, 
time warps. Uh, oh, yeah. We have time so, travel. Uh, what why you don't we know that? is sometimes I wear a wig and sometimes I don't. <laughs> 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 nah, uh, yeah, I think it's because you've got a cut like in between shootings from one week to the next week of projects yeah. and you're in this in between time. Mm. So. Both videos ended up with half and half of you. Sometimes cut, you don't see cut. footage for a couple of weeks, and then we're, we're you accumulating see it because it. it just yeah. didn't get enough done on that particular Project's project. But it's yeah, or, it's just mean know. to tease you with thirty seconds and then <laughs> yeah. leave you. It's like, like uh, yeah, so excuse me, we don't have <laughs> film of this yet, but it will yeah. be here. Yeah. And then a week later, you have to still ima- not here. You yeah. have to <laughs> imagine that we also too have a ton of footage that we don't even use. Yeah, um, it's there's just uh, not thrown out. Not, it just takes time to get 20 plus minutes of video together every week, um, but yet we do have a ton of footage, and occasionally we might grab something like oh, yeah, something from someplace yeah. else, or we'll have a section that's just yeah. it's great, but it doesn't fit the theme of whatever we're doing that week, you know. So, yeah. but we still have it around for. Oh gosh, when it fits, it's still you know? soon though. We, we, don't, we don't I, keep everything anything. Is, yeah, and I don't think we have any more Bryce interview with your long hair now. <laughs> we do. We, no, yeah, oh, we do. We do. We have one more. What subject bit. is that on? That's the circle thing that we had. Oh, he's and got. And I don't one know if that will make the cut yet or Did not. Did we it, show him in that? The cut and that <laughs> that that, yeah, well, maybe not. that scene or that section has been in the last two weeks and got pulled yeah, both times. Both times. <laughs> yeah. 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 Interesting. Bryson, in the first time he said, "Nope, this doesn't fit." So we said, "Okay." So we pulled it out two weeks ago, mm-hmm. and then um, it was slated to go back in, but way too much footage this week. Yeah, we were up at the twenty-five. Oh, yeah, we don't like to go that high. It's just too much work, and that's one reason why we fit. didn't make the deadline this week. Yeah, it, it, when it's that long, it it takes longer to upload. It takes longer to do all the last minute things. Rendering takes forever. Yeah, we, we underestimate the length. Like, we yeah. underestimate how long it will take. It's amazing yeah. how it's five longer. extra uh, five extra minutes really does impact does. the time yeah. that it By takes. Remember when we went from 10 yeah. to 20? I mean, that oh. was like, whoa. The mom was doing all of it oh, then. She was burning out quick <laughs> on that one. That was just, I don't like, yeah. I can't do mom this anymore. I'm like, all right, <laughs> mom. Much. All right. All Move right. Over, Here's let the us game plan. Out. Here's the game plan. We're all going to show through it. We're going to make this work. <laughs> so Thanks to the NAS server, that's really been... Yeah, I've yeah, been able key. to do that. Yeah, with that oh, thing. It's except for me, I can't get on there because I have a newer version, I guess. If you have a crew. yeah, because you're yeah. working on it's on a couple new shows that we're yeah, going to be some adding new shows to the schedule. Yeah. So yep, in, the yep, future, yep. Get, in the future, when we get in the future, two of them. Yeah. So hopefully near future. Yeah. <laughs> So um, now again, like, I've, I've I've not had a chance to look at comments like I usually do. Dad has been though, and Mom, of course, yeah. gets in there as well. Yeah. Uh, but I and thought I we could <laughs> we could peruse. I've been trying to though a little bit better. <laughs> each each week we pres- we uh, say what the top few top comments were. So um, Lori has the toppest of the top at twenty two likes. <laughs> um, and Lori says, when you have more grandkids, you can add their names to the planter boxes. Oh. I like that. I like that idea too. Nice. That's a good one. You know, be a interesting you um you create this layer like what you guys are thinking with the feet but you but you create a, a each color there's a difference so you create like a jar right mm-hmm. and then you lay a clear coat down and you have a colored foot and then each year you lay a clear coat and a new colored foot clear coat new colored foot clear foot all right of, of each feet? year a and you have feet? a tower of feet right of then you all break the, the grandkids mm-hmm. Then you break no, the you just have this jar that has all of the feet, like feet print, you know. So how do we get in their it. foot in there, jam their leg in there? Well, you do a big mouth jar or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that foot. <laughs> we can just put them around the studio, just, uh, you know, as a feet walking around the whole Start. studio. Bink, bink. And then that that everybody keeps cute. adding their feet. <laughs> that their name under them. <laughs> that would be a true feat. Uh, <laughs> a true feat. <laughs> We hope that we won't defeat. Yeah, no, be defeated. we won't be no, defeated, no de- defeated, no defeated by this idea. No, so if you defeat, you defeat know, can you profeet? Defeat, profeet. Can you feed sure, feet? Hunt. Inflate? Inflate your feet? So. I, don't I don't know. know. You know, it's, it's funny. Um, you s- it, the, that's a top comment, but feet? then there's 34 likes on the second comment oh. there, which to me, that I would call that... Not uh, quite the top, of the top, top, yeah. top of or the top, top. Uh, and really, top this is... Top, top, top comment. Um, this is kind of one that you guys... Uh, it, well, anyway, it's by G Art. It says it's time for my weekly pill of my little homestead positivity. The world's in a in a pandemic panic. Great band name, by the way, <laughs> and you guys barely notice. <laughs> so w- we notice. It's not our job to bring up um, trauma, <laughs> and it's our job to entertain and 
focus on family and focus on good things and um, you, you get uh, people get enough of that during the week, and yeah. you don't want to hear that on yeah. Friday night. No. When, and we don't want to you get in, you know. It's everywhere. That's, if that's you not our tune job. In, if you want to <laughs> tune in, it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah there's yeah. enough stations and whatnot going on on that. Yeah. We we want to be the the weekly pill of positivity. I like that. That's, that's yeah, a good kind one. of the reprieve, right? The we, reprieve. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Somebody's alarm is. I'm yeah, sorry. it's, it's oh, breeze. Give okay. me just a second. Yeah, it's yeah, positivity. I like to focus on that. It's important. And, oh, and here's a, a Memorial Day one too, Bree, by Robert Thomas Main. And he said, and thank you for the Memorial Day mention. My late father was one of the silent heroes that mm. never talked about oh. it. Finally got him to talk enough to understand why. When he was dying of cancer, he fought under Patton through North Africa and Sicily. Landed at Anzio, worse than D-Day stuff you saw in Saving Oof. Private Ryan up Italy to uh, Monte Cassino, where he was finally wounded. Horrific memories. He just wanted to forget. The greatest generation, hard to argue with that. Respect to all the brave men and women that served this country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Sacrificed a lot. For sure. I love that we have a day where we get to just show some respect and and have a, a memory of of what great, courageous people those those folks are and still are today. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. So we can have a better And it goes, world. It goes so Sorry. far back, too, oh, because you've got, oh like, you know, people fought in the Revolutionary War, you know, that, you know, where would we be today? If it wasn't you know? for them. Mm-hmm. For sure. It's, it's quite a sacrifice for someone willing to do that. That yeah, is. Okay, I'm sorry. A pivot to, um, to a little bit of a laughter thing. Mona Bale on, on the Weekly Peak said some some bees were squished in the making of this video. <laughs> it's okay though; they were really mean ones. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's why I was laughing. I know you try not to squish them when you're out there doing it, but how can you not? There's yeah. everywhere. I need to put this lid on here. Like, Get out of the way, B. Get out of the way. It's not like you can say move. They're not, they're not going to listen. They're no. just so you just have to hope. You just kind of. I when I set it down, I kind of there's there's a chunk I cut out, but I was kind of moving the box around as I kind of set it down to hopefully Come I can brush those bees yeah. out of the way before I just set the box down. But because <laughs> <laughs> not much just the new ones. ones. You they're do your so best, brave. but. Those those little bees, man, aren't they? I, I was thinking Bryson and Dad were brave, so but yeah, I guess oh. the bees are. We're too. human. We <laughs> can just be like brave. One bee it's and it goes smart. after your whole face. You're massive in comparison. Oh, to like they're smart mean. too. I remember <laughs> you had after you got stung with they're that bug and you're out milking. Yeah. I went out there with a bee suit to take care of the milking job because obviously <laughs> they're being a little weird. And I was out there, and a bee flies around me, lands on like my my chest area, and I'm looking at it, and it's looking at me. And it knows it can't just sting the suit. The suit's just a suit. And it's got its wings up in defense, and it wants to sting, but it's it's eyeballing me. Like, where's your skin? Like, where's the skin? And it's, like, flying around, and it was looking for my skin. I swear, if I would have had any any place that had any showing skin, that's the spot that it would have stung me. You should have teased, well, are... teased him. Teased ah, him. I'm oh, telling oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, they know. They know what's a bee suit and they know what's not. I'm telling you, they do. Oh, I've never had. I mean, I've they are a bug, though. You do realize that, though. Oh, I, I know. Yeah. Jo- Bryson is but projecting. I'm telling you, their brain He's size. I'm telling you, they know. Well, I will. I will say to their credit, um, I, I've never had them specifically go for my noggin before. Like, yeah. actually, make a decision on where the best <laughs> place would to, to use their life. You know, so like. I've never had that before. I mean, like I've squished them where you know things have happened, but they're like, where's the most vulnerable spot? And then that's where they go. It's pretty amazing. I think it it's, is. it's built inside. I think of it them. originally okay. wanted your eye, but it hit the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Can you imagine? <laughs> Thank you, glasses. Oh, <laughs> I have Sorry. to tell you the the comment that made me laugh out loud. Uh, it was by um, Joanna Tester. I bought my husband an MLH sir- shirt, oh. and it arrived <laughs> last week. I have already stole it. So tonight he tossed me his card and told me to order my own. <laughs> <laughs> I can just picture that. That's funny. Uh, Not that's that funny. I've ever done that. No. Never. No. Nope. 
<laughs> I've had I've actually had dad shirts somehow end up in my laundry bin, and I still haven't given them back. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm still missing dad shirts. shirts. Oh. I have had dad socks. You must give them back. Yeah. I, no, I do eventually. Not always. I, I go, man, this is big on me. Yeah. Then I just keep wearing it. <laughs> on the socks, not one of always, mom's. Though. One of mom's shirts was in it's mine, and I put tell. it on. I have one of the same color and same design, and it's like <laughs> this is not fitting very well. <laughs> it's tight t-shirt. Was like, Your whoa, muscles look. were just <laughs> bulging out everywhere, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I could lose a few pounds there, though. Whoa. <laughs> So I you took it off, stretched it all out, give it back to her. <laughs> you know what's even weirder? When you have a shirt and you're like, I don't want this shirt. Does anyone want it? And then someone will go, they want it. Okay, so you give it to them. And it somehow ends up back in your it dresser and you think it's yours. And then the person goes and goes, you know that you gave me that shirt, right? And you're just like, oh, no, I, did? I didn't. No, I'm I wearing didn't it. do that. <laughs> Why would I give you something I'm using? <laughs> I've done that before. I've been wearing a shirt I gave away. <laughs> Elaine uh, Libert. Uh, uh, Liebert says, uh, Mom, and he's quoting you, Mom, I like things to be pretty simple. And then and then says, creates every single opportunity to paint, multicolored, mural, accessorize, and do the most. <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I have, um, I had uh, my grandma and my grandma's sister, and they were... Um, just the cutest ladies and um in their in their actions and and they had just packed with all little what do you call it, little figurines just just packed everywhere on their on their shelves and and I guess when I think simple I'm thinking that you know as contrast to that just pack things on the shelves and and they had just a cute style but i always wanted less things just because it's a lot to dust especially in the desert so um anyway so i guess that's what i think of when i think of simple but maybe it's not so simple (laughs) it's custom (laughs) but you know when your kids you know when you guys do stuff um you know they have so much extra meaning to them that they're it's more than art too. It's a it's a warm feeling. It's a you know, I can't you know, That's I don't know how to describe it, but it's there's a lot more to it than just the art. You got the sentimental doors. value too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. 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 Pretty fun. I I I'm really having a lot of fun <clears throat> putting in custom things, you know, into the space too, because a lot of times you can't purchase exactly what you're thinking of for the space. You know, sometimes you can, but most of the time it's like you, you really wanted exist. it a little bit different or whatever. And um, I'm really loving the fact that, that uh, things can be created, you know, for to fit wherever, whatever yeah. it needs, you know. Yeah. So that's been, it's been so fun too, a fun creative challenge as well. Well, and you, you and Shay helped me figure out the colors for the walls, colors for the cabinets, how to keep those s- simple because we did want a lot of bright colored art. Mm. And I'm kind of torn between like, painting some of the pots bright colors because I don't really want the pots to show up. I want the plant. So trying to figure out what, what we want to Focus pop plant. and yeah. what we don't want to pop. And I think just we've kind of come down to the fact that we want all the art to be real bright and mm-hmm. stand out and everything Would else kind of fade in the, yeah, be relaxed in the background. Colors. Yeah. Would a sense. clear pot be any cool? <laughs> Shows dirt. A resin pot that's clear. I mean, it'd be kind of fun. You can see all the roots. Yeah. You know, it would be fun if you put what, LED lighting in it, though. Yeah, LED lighting. Or you even could do, like, so now clear little project. gems that you, you stick in so that they, they butt up against whatever it is. And then hopefully, the hope is that you can fill the pot up with the roots so you can see the roots in, in it, you know, push up. You know, how it. would hmm. you pour that? Because it would want to seep down to the bottom. You'd have to have a... I guess once we figure out how well, not to stick something, you could put a pot inside take of a, a pot, right? Yeah, I was I was thinking like mm-hmm. you take a, a pot, you invert it, and you put it in a five-gallon bucket, and you seal it, and then you fill it with resin. As a mold? As a mold. And then what? You and then you, you, you have to tear the bucket off. I would really but like... But like, then you have a, a clear round pot. The bottom would be... Flat. Uh, you know, it would kind of be severe, mm, like it would we, be around severe. Yeah, I don't know. If that we ought to be thinking. I, eventually, and I don't know if this is like down the road when the workshop is up, but I really would love to do actual silicone molds that we can put whatever we want into. Keep making yeah. It so you do something out of clay, and then you do it out of, um, and then you have Make the silicone, silicone molds mold. that you can just grab out and with do whatever with again. But you work really hard on getting that mold 
to function Correct. for whatever. And then you can make as many as you want mm-hmm. too. Eventually, I like I'd like to do That's that. Cool. I mean, I'd even like to have a like a a kiln there in the in the st- in the workshop as well, so mm-hmm. that we can fire you know clay or whatever Definitely. you know for. Mm-hmm. I mean, like just so that we have every medium possible for whatever we want to do would be fun, you know. Sure. As yeah. long as it doesn't take up too much power space, you know. But We're I guess that's the idea. That. Of the There'll be plenty of space. There'll be yeah. plenty of power and too. Power. I think. Yeah. yeah. So. We're getting close to doing that workshop too. I think this week is between this week and next week. The goal is to button up the kitchen. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. the last yeah. really big project were those those hanging valances, which are now done. Mm-hmm. So there should not be uh, any other major project in that kitchen, right, Gary? It's just little things, right? Just mm-hmm. Yeah. We, yeah. Ro- I guess you got rollers on the doors. and Bryson's door got handles. Some handles. Which, which we do have a, take a little bit. We yeah. might have we'll another branch those. to put up, too. And yeah. yeah, we've got a few little things. I feel like those aren't really major. I think, really. And the window yeah. glass above the thing. Those are two projects. That probably mm-hmm. Yeah, they'll be. They'll, you're right. They'll those might, are the button-up things, There might be upkeep little things but yeah i've got to i've got to tune up all the the drawers and doors so that they're setting correctly put the fat the little pads in the little pads that go on yeah i i'm thinking too that we've had enough of a break now that we're ready to launch into a new building Mm -hmm. aren't we we're feeling like Mm -hmm. you kind of have to take a big breather after Mm -hmm. you do a big project Uh, yeah especially this kitchen has been a big, it's been a big project. You know, and it's been hey, we'll get it done in six fun, months, two years later. Hey, wow, you know, we finally finished it. It's well, that's because it just got bigger and bigger the more yeah, we went. It's true. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> typical Tim Allen moment, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just dawned on me. We're building that structure over there, and we could so easily, on the side of it or something, build in the aquaponic system and move the aquaponic system over there. Where? In the in the warehouse, you know, though, to have the aquaponic system in the, in the courtyard, is, right? Uh, yeah, it's you just be contend there. it because it's you like you it. go out to do the animals. Yeah. You got they're right there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so no, it has to. It's got. I like it there. Close. I didn't have room for that. <laughs> we'll make room, <laughs> unless I get a fishing pole. We'll make room. <laughs> I was talking with Bree, and we we think we should do a Catch little pond catfish. out in the yes. chicken area, oh, and what we yeah. do. Is we then we, that allows us to have ducks? We always wanted ducks, and then um, also we'll be able to power the uh, fodder system and run it off the aquaponics or off the pond water. We run that fodder system, and then that it also not only supplies water for the animals, it supplies their food also. And all we have to do is keep water in it, and we just have to pick up bags of seed. Now, now well, I thought what do you, you do with a uh, duck? In addition to that, you we're guys were duck, talking but. about having some sort of floating on on your aquaponics right now that we could run a little bit of fodder for the animals That's through. Right, I wanted. But to we try just have to make that. sure that the that the fish don't fish. eat the roots, right? So we need something to protect them. Well, they can them. eat the roots, well, just not kill them. I was kind I of think thinking they could eat whatever was extra, right? That and I was kind of thinking a lid that fits on top of the aquaponic system that has the trays built into it. And we should look into doing that, that, like real soon. That would be fun. That to That would get be started a fun on. little project. The yeah. one thing that I was also wanting to test about that is m- my previous experience with having a tub underneath a fodder system is that the tub gets a lot of the grain leftovers, which happens to be a lot of that that uh, moldy. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but the if you've ever water. rinsed grain, you know what I mean. Yeah, it yes, all comes yes. off. It's like a bunch of like guck oily that comes almost, off isn't the, it? Uh, it's kind of. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like flour mixed with water, <laughs> so yeah. to speak. But yeah. it's grain. But it's that kind of thing that you get in the water. It's a like greasy, and that can that can start to mold and it, it I, starts to I ferment. I couldn't and imagine a fish that living something? in that area in that water. Oh, so I'm just I just don't see. know kind of impact it's going to have on the tank. I'm hoping with the filter system that's on there, plus the other plants that are in the water, hopefully that mm, stuff can be broken down into I nutrients. See that the other plants can eat and use, but I've never been sure about that. Well, if you get it to ferment properly, you can make a mash out of it, and then it becomes a sugars, and, and then you turn um, the sugars into alcohol. Are you teasing now, or are you being serious? Pretty soon I can't you have, tell. you know, whiskey. It starts and, off as like, oh, this is interesting. Barrels, and like, <laughs> add a little bit of sugar in there. No, um, but what I was actually thinking, though, it just dawned on me, is I've always thought, you know, have you ever seen those sand barrels that they create for filters? Yes. Create a nice good sand barrel. We built one. Well, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. But um, <laughs> what I'm thinking is maybe, Ma, we use a small sand filter that's at the bottom of that fodder system that all the water pours into, goes through that filter and back into the fish tank. So we have another filter there that we can replace or clean Backwash. out. Backwash. Mm -hmm. that, that will get all that <clears throat> extra Maybe one of the pool ones. That comes from the... Uh, the, the Those pool sand filters are kind of designed that way to pull, um, pool sediments and filter? yeah, pull a, put, they make those sand filters for pools. Oh. It's the same concept. And then you backwash them. Oh, interesting. I know they have, um, the water softeners are similar to that where they have like sand beads in them that consume like all the salts and stuff. Yeah. Dun, okay. Sorry. Dun. okay. I have to, <laughs> Sorry. I have to read this comment because we have been getting such a kick out of this. Um, Jen Worthington, she's commented before too, and um, it's it's just great. Jen, this is great if you're listening. Um, my cat still runs to join me to watch every time I tell him I'm going to watch you guys. He's so funny. I guess her cat comes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he hears the beginning part of the whatever, but he she says he will actually watch the TV and watch, watch the show. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So Poor cat. Good for all ages and pets. <laughs> yeah, pets <too. laughs> Apparently, pets like it too. Uh, who needs to spend money on on those dog shows that are like you know you have your dog pet watch something? You just throw on a Milo Homestead. Uh, <laughs> we can feed. Okay, for all and, ages and animals. <laughs> and Stephanie Rose says, if you ever want to add curtains to your valances, in quote curtains, you know, you could put some golden pot pothos up there it grows easily and is really hard to kill i had one for 16 years that only died when mold accidentally grew in the pot if you had enough of them define hard you to could kill create, they could create a kind of plant curtains i don't know what that is but it sounds wonderful stephanie and i'm going to be i'll look into that and see if i can find one of those either locally or maybe i can order one online so define oh, hard definitely. to kill <laughs> <laughs> uh, well uh, it's not mold resistant but i think we'll be pretty safe from that here hopefully <laughs> all right well um uh, cjf had a really just a really uh, endearing comment here i thought i'd read here i love seeing the renovation of ellie's childhood home it's like everything she ever wanted to change or make better when she was growing up finally gets to come true she gets to transform her childhood home with all of its memories into a perfect place to raise her new family. I love it. May you and Garen be very happy there for as long as you bo as you reside. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. So. Yeah, the, the, it's interesting. Um, you know, we've been over to, you know, Ellie's family's house, you know, over the years. Mm -hmm. and, Grew up. You know, yeah, um, and... It is interesting. We've always we've always liked their place, but it is a completely different feel. It really is. Even before they painted it, um, it doesn't feel like the same place. It, they do have their mark on it, and that's that's uh, that's nice. That's I think that nice. you know makes, makes it, it their own. And yep. yeah, yeah. And yet it's still it's still the same area too. Uh, there's a lot of just great memories of building forts and running around and camping in the front yard and stuff you know mm -hmm. so it's it's like it's this a cool blend between their home now yeah. and yet still you know embracing a little yeah, bit and of it's very organized too, so. with all these so fenced organized. areas and grapes and certain and color areas coding and, well color coding now that, <laughs> ellie. that's ellie now that's that co color coding with the aquaponics to you know different different things that they the deck that they painted and that kind of thing mm -hmm. so yeah, I, I, I never the, the outbuildings and barns are going to get this too so. yeah so i've never realized how much color coding actually really helps like if you see Ellie, Ellie in their place, you see Ellie do it, and you're like, "Whoa, that actually really yeah. helps." Yeah, like yeah, a you huge yeah, yeah, you don't. Uh, yeah, you don't realize. Yeah, you don't even. And, and we're, it, if something changes, you're like, "Wow," you know. And I don't know where is. Ellie comes up with all the color too, because you, you know, I. I've never been great at uh, in that. We always rely on you guys to help no. pick out color. But I would just think, oh, that, that wouldn't be a color I would pick. But I absolutely love everything she does. I mm -hmm. love the way mm -hmm. everything turns out. Yeah. As she was saying, they uh, when it comes to paint colors, it's not something they compromise on. It's like one either one, Garen picks the colors or Ellie picks the colors. She says oh. the problem is, is that 
they'll they'll each pick a color that's great on its own, but they don't work well together. <laughs> so that's something that they've learned. She said they learned throughout the throughout the couple of years or whatever they've been oh, together. Okay. So yes, yeah, so this week um, Mary, you will we you'll get to see that. Um, the colors that they picked out for the house and will be so classy. Yeah, I think so that's classy. that's going to be yeah. their part of the it's, video this this it's, this Friday. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's really amazing too because you go to the back of their house and you get this cabiny fill. It just feels like it's an outdoor cabin out in the woods. And you go to the front of the house and it's like it's a different feel. It's like you get both kind of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Feels, it's really so there's cool. the sneak peek of the upcoming week. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Bryson's like, he's, like out he's there. going in. He's going he's in. He's out there now. <laughs> That's okay. They, still, they don't know what the color is. Anyway. <laughs> I've got to read this comment by Charles L. Brown. The first part of it here, it's a great comment, but the first part's just a crack up. <laughs> the projects are really great. Bryson, ever thought of stinging the bees back? LOL. <laughs> 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 Here's another one too that I think is um, pretty cool. It's from Tramp Fossil. <laughs> Tramp Fossil. I love it. Tramp Fossil. Uh, covering the fossils. hives with a sheet and moving them at night is the easiest way to get them all and only takes half the day or night actually moving in the day is not good. Lots get lost. With much more than a couple feet, using a sheet helps keep them all in and makes it easier to move. Heavy, but easy. A sheet. I never thought about that. Yeah, that's. I will say that when we did move them, we did not have a sheet. <laughs> <laughs> no, far from it. And there were bees on the outside of the hive. It's that amazing were how well they see at night. <laughs> 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 when you shine a light on them, it is surprising. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't fly off you <laughs> if they get on you. I think that that would give me nightmares. Nah. Just bees crawling on you. <laughs> it's on your suit. It's not what you. was the frustrating part is me and Dad are both inspecting each other, looking for the bees because they got on us and they don't fly away because no. they don't it's fly dark. at night. So we had to brush them off. And like, oh, that oh. was a that was a lot. Oh. It took us forever to get all the bees <laughs> off at night. How did Longer we get these than it would us? have been during the daytime <laughs> when they were attacking us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is surprising. Well, hopefully now they're good and settled down. Yeah. We should have, um, and hopefully Chip was is through his uh, <laughs> eating his, f- eating his bees. bee attack mode. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, he either dreams about being a beekeeper or dreams about taking down an entire hive. Yeah. <laughs> because every time I have to make sure before we go and take care of the bees that every dog is inside, especially that little guy, because he can get out. And he'll just follow you out there to the beehive. He'll be out there working with the hive, and all of a sudden Chip just walks up. The one bug (laughs) you would like him to be afraid of. (laughs) And it's not like his whole face swells and sags. (laughs) (laughs) I've got to feed the poor guy Benadryl just just to keep him. He just gulped that down too, didn't he? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Cheese? Benadryl? More, please. (laughs) And then sleep. He's out. Yeah, he was Ow, I've never seen him so drowsy before. He was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> uh, he is, he is not very being careful. <laughs> oh, no. I, you know, it's so funny, too, because newcomers come, and he's like, he he's, as he gets older, he's a little more leery of of people. But there's just things that he's just brashly brave of for. Uh, it's just funny to see it. <laughs> <laughs> you learn new things about your pets all the time. So... Bullet is not. He's not. He does not chase bees. Did you bees. see him this morning? We Chases were letting balls. the dogs out yeah. to go outside after they'd eaten. And, uh, of course, the second we open the door, Chip and Luna go flying out. And Bullet's, Bullet sees their excitement. But before dashing out with the rest, <laughs> brashly, he he gets up on his hind legs and peeks out the window <laughs> first. And then, and then after you said, come on, Bullet, you want to go outside too? He's like, oh. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but he had to look first. <laughs> He's like, wait, what's going on? Where are they going? <laughs> yeah. It's safe in here. Let's double check. <laughs> I know those two better than anyone. <laughs> the smart and rational dog. <laughs> <laughs> the smart, rational dog and the brashly brave. <laughs> and Luna following along with whatever. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Chip's just along for the ride until it gets too, too much for him. <laughs> Luna's so funny. I fill some five-gallon buckets that I use to refill the aquaponics system with, 
and I'll fill it with a hose, and Luna will go over there, and every time she'll see the water, and she'll start munching the water that comes out of the hose, and then she'll sit there and choke on it, because she gets it in her nose, or swallows on it, and then she'll go back and keep doing it, and then she'll sit there and choke on it. <laughs> okay, I have to say, <laughs> Garen, or Bryson set up that solar system, If um, I think it was nearly a year ago, he put a solar panel and built that you built that box out That's there. That's right for that little and, water pump. Uh, for the water for that pump. Tank. And I have used that um, summer and even a little bit through the winter. That thing works so beautiful. I love that thing. It's never failed me. I probably I'm shouldn't say up. it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. So uh, you built that, and it's just it just continues to pump the water out <clears> so strong. And uh, using the, that's all that rainwater that comes just off the main house, it's it's still I'm still using it, and it hasn't rained for a month or more here. Lots of water. I don't think it's ever really ran out on you. No, nope. no, I don't think it ever has. It's just like there's tons water. of water in there. Yeah, just use it I up. think it's like a three thousand gallon. It it's is. A so big boy. Yeah. We yeah. were gonna have Shay's building run off into there, oh, but you know I don't need to think do? that'd be too much. Mom, yeah, that would be. we need to plant trees by that. Because I, I think there are a couple holes in that tank. <laughs> yeah, but, but we need to plant trees That's by a good that. idea, yeah. Because once the roots get larger, they'll, they'll start using the water that leaks from that. Oh, and speaking of that, the the uh, the crepe myrtle that I planted Ooh. last year that was so beautiful, mm-hmm. I I killed it. But not really. You know, because um, I, I killed. Mean, I mean, sadly, I, c- I died. And then <laughs> I lived. <laughs> if you look at it from a That's foot exactly above, this plant did. it's, it's yeah. completely dead. Yeah. But it does have a, uh, about three more it's little. It's coming back. It's coming back, but it's going to take a long way to just get back to what it was. But anyway, I was really disappointed. I apparently should have watered it a little bit more through the winter. We had a lot of rain last weird. winter. I didn't yeah, think I did. needed to, you but don't. I should have. Which is weird. You always think plants when they die back during the winter or whatever that they're they're just dead and they'll come back in the you know summertime or whatever. But really, they they need water at winter too. Yeah. You know, yeah, and I don't know how that much, works. How often? Once a water. month? Once? A, I don't know how often you do it. I, think if you I did know it once the a month, it would be good schedule. Yeah, but then remembering it once a month that's not very regular. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> there. And well. usually, if it's cold, I go. Oh, I don't want to go it's out too there. Too cold out there. <laughs> they're, they look fine. It's okay. Yeah. They kinda, I can they see it from my window. <laughs> yeah. It's still there. Still, still a stick in the ground. And usually, we get a lot of water through the winter time, though. Too. We have. We did this. Winter. We did this yeah. winter. We didn't so. have any snow. No, no. I don't, I don't think we just had a dusting. Yeah, just just nothing a stuck. Yeah, we did get hell Two I years think, ago. once. How are we doing on our, our time? very we, interesting. Well, I, we might have room for one more something if you've got yep, something. Or if something. not, I can wrap her up because we're coming to the end. Dun, dun, dun. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> we all just paused to let you do that. We yeah. didn't help <laughs> at all. <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay, honey? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. 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 <laughs> Speaking of trees, oh, I, know what I, was um, say. I just recently planted the moringa. Moringa? Moringa? Yeah. With outside um, and there was cutter bees all over it and I'm just, just, just eating the whole thing I was like darn it so I looked up how to make like a repellent and you can take oranges and lemon peels you just take the peel not the white stuff inside you just get the peel outside layer pretty much of like the orange and lemons and limes and stuff and I put that in a, a, a container and I cooked it and I learned the recipe for it and you basically cook it on the stove with water and you put that substance in a in a spray bottle after you run it through like a little filter. And so far, that has been working. Mm. Oh, okay. And the idea is you're trying to get all of the repellent that naturally comes on oranges and lemons and stuff like that because they naturally have a repellent, oh. bug repellent oh. on them. Mm. And you're trying to get that off. And you try to put it in a bottle and, and spray it yeah. on other plants. Does that work as a mosquito and repellent? Because I, I would no prefer idea. that over. I have yeah, no that, idea. It actually smells really. It's it super smells very good. nice, and I was spraying it on the moringa tree, and so far cutter bees have stayed away. Hmm. They have not touched it, so it, it's really worked quite well. I started spraying it on other plants because it's just working. Yeah, and if you've ever seen cutter bees, they're hilarious. <laughs> they're they're like they do like a almost a full circle, but it doesn't quite connect up. But it's it's just beautifully cut. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's, it's amazing I, how they're just so precise. If you one, too, it's really interesting. They go, ching, 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 and they curl it up, and then they oh. fly away with part of the leaf. Oh, it's I'd so love to that on video. Yeah. And they use it, it for their amazing. nests. They, they find leaves that are 
that that have a good aroma or scent and then and then they cut it off and off they go with it so mm-hmm. that's and then they only do it in the beginning the spring and probably a little bit into the summer and now then they'll they'll disappear yeah now they, they won't, won't. soon we should very see soon. them yeah, soon. i want to mm-hmm. say too that shay is going to be coming back um pretty much full fledged here she's um uh, she's got a couple weeks to wrap up what she's doing right now, mm-hmm. and then we are going to see her, um, I think, very regularly here with uh, lots of new content that she's going to be mm-hmm. sharing with us, too. Yeah. So She's excited. Uh, she's mm-hmm. super excited. She, um, Yeah, so I think we're going to um, – we'll still – you'll still see her this week, and we have uh, – uh, you know, but it will be probably in very limited Clips ways. More, yeah. But um, but she's going to be, I'd say, in about three weeks, probably the third. We'll start seeing uh, her quite a bit again. So. Some projects and stuff from her that would be really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's so. got fun stuff going on there. So, yeah, a lot Neat. of fun projects she's got in the works, and that'll be coming at you very soon. So, anyway, near you <laughs> to literally YouTube, but near you setting in your pocket. <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with us for this hour that we like to hang out with you and, uh, you know, listen to comments or we're going to be trying to, we, every so often we receive some special packages and we're going to be uh, uh, trying maybe filming some if we can Pretty or cool. whatever and, and we'd love to share share that and, and, th- and be able to thank through these podcasts as well. So we get to, uh, you know, respond to your comments personally and not everybody, of course, but uh, as many as we can. And I uh, just wanted to say thank you so much for participating and for taking the time to leave something. We read absolutely everything we can. And um, it's really just very encouraging to and, and helpful. So many suggestions and recommendations. We were even commenting over the last yeah, few and years. Yeah, all the it's encouraging just, words just, yeah. you know, that that's it. Uh, makes us really want to keep going because mm-hmm. we realize that, you know, it, you know, when somebody says something so nice, it's like, wow, you know, isn't that kind of why you keep going forward and yeah. you're doing what we're doing? Yeah. So, so very important. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, we we so you. appreciate it. And we are we are looking forward to more content that we'll be doing in the future. We've got big ideas and big dreams, and we cannot wait uh, to share them with you as they unfold and as we complete them. So thank you so much for being a part of our family, yeah. being a part of our journey. And we yep. look forward to hanging out with you on Wednesday for that recap video, whatever it might be. It's, yeah. it's a mystery. Dun, mystery. Dun, dun. Question mark. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.